course, we've been thinking about you guys and hoping everybody's doing well. I'm Kelly Wilkness here with Anita Joyce, and this is Decorating Tips and Tricks, episode 411, Creativity and Inspiration You Need Now. And boy, do we all need a bit of that. So we're here to bring it to you today, and we are sending our thoughts and hopes out to everyone that you're doing well and enjoying this time at home. Boy, is this something that uh, I never thought I'd live through, this um, pandemic times and living at home. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a very different time with uh, all the stress, with the worries, and how are you going to get food, and are you uh, disinfecting everything? It's it's definitely different, but I am enjoying having my family home. At least some of us are here, so that's been nice. So true. There is definitely upside to this uh, situation. And, you know, we always like to make a lemonade out of lemons when you can. And, you know, there is, uh, as Anita pointed out, lots of stressors, lots of worries. And if you listen to the news, it can really be bogging you down. But today we're going to bring to you some great ideas uh, of things you can be doing, things you could be reading, listening to, thinking about, uh, taking part in even while you're spending time at home, safe and cozy with your loved ones. Um, so uh, we can dive right into all of that. We did want to mention, you know, we have been thinking about uh, all of this, but we had pre-recorded some of those episodes that you heard prior to this one. And we just thought maybe you needed a, like a respite from all of what you're hearing in the news and whatnot. So today we're definitely addressing the current situation and we can jump right in. Well, I think we all have, um, you know, we're going to have some recommendations for podcasts and other, some of our favorite things to watch. But I wanted to mention that Evie and I worked out this morning at home via Zoom uh, with our regular nightclub cardio instructor from the Y. Nightclub cardio oh, during the well, day. <laughs> oh, it's nightclub cardio, but what it really means is... You, it's just such a workout. I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of the pop, you know, regular, it's the music that's real popular right now. That's why they're calling it a nightclub. But, uh, you know, you just want to, you just feel like you're going to pass out at the end of the workout. So that's anyway. awesome. Yeah. But we were doing that and it was kind of cool, uh, you know, having it on the computers. And then Evie and I both had our laptops uh, on the, on the bed, at the foot of the bed. And we're trying to not swing our arms into each other. So yeah, it worked <laughs> out. So we were doing that. And, and, you know, I, and I have a situation like a lot of people who work from home and, and you too, Kelly, is that, uh, we have a, both of a, well, you have a spouse who's normally home, but mine is normally not here. And now he's here. Uh, but he has taken over my s studio in the garage apartment. So I've been booted out. So I'm actually recording in our bedroom <laughs> because this is the quietest place in the house. So he's taken that over. But the bad news is now the AC went out. Oh, so no. he's been in the house a lot. So we're kind of all on top of each other right now. So I really, you know, it just, we're going through something that everyone's going through is how do you work from home where everyone's at home and everyone's on top of each other. So it's just been, you know, a chore finding a quiet place, but, but I'm up here, but anyway, but it was so fun being able to work out with the regular crew and seeing everybody and yeah, it was fun. So how about you, Kelly? So fun. And I have heard that a lot of uh, instructors are doing that. So if you have a regular instructor, you might check with them if you haven't heard yet whether or not they're going to be putting something up on Zoom. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I've been doing a bunch of different things at home. And hey, let's face it, Anita, myself, and all of you, we've probably been training for this moment to spend all this time in our home for yes. our entire adult lives. Like, yeah, right. We all love our houses and we love creating the cozy and creating the sanctuary. So this is just kind of that on steroids. Mm -hmm. So this is the time, you know, do some things that you've been planning to do. Uh, make that list. You know, maybe you're not going to start, you know, painting something with everybody in the house because it's, you know, we're all experiencing cozy with a capital C. Well, and it's hard to go get the paint too. Well, so. yeah. Yeah. But, you know, with things that you have on hand, you can certainly be doing lots of projects around the house or uh, purging, all these things that we love to do that maybe you didn't have the time to do as, uh, you know, sometimes my DIY projects or ideas for redecorating move around move from to-do list to to-do list and they just never get done. Well, 
now we've all got the time. So we might as well dive into that. Creating a sanctuary. Oh uh, gosh, you know, it's it's definitely one of the main topics, the overarching topics that we talk about on decorating tips and tricks all the time. So I could refer you back to countless podcast episodes on just that. Um, one that came to mind when Anita was talking about the home office is, was the um, 2020 trends. We had a big chunk of that episode talking about how to delineate a space for working at home. So mm-hmm. you might want to jump back to that episode if you didn't hear it. But and what you're saying that we've been preparing for this all of our lives in a way. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I get what you're saying because we have been feathering our nest. We have been working on making our homes a beautiful, cozy place, like most people listening for for a long time. And for people, it, it, like say somebody who lives in a real small apartment who mostly is outside of the apartment, and like somebody that lives in New York City, their lives it seems like are mostly outside their own homes. But for us, it's we've always been focused on our lives inside the home. And now uh, I'm glad that we did spend all that time on that because now this is where we're stuck. So, you know, if you haven't. And so can you imagine being stuck in your home all day long if you haven't kept up with decluttering and, uh, you know, kind of uh, keeping it neat and clean and tidy and all that stuff? I mean, it would be driving me nuts being here right now if there was piles of things that that needed to be dealt with. For sure. And I mean, I have to say, I know what you're talking about being in in an urban environment where maybe you're going out to dinner and a lot, but Mm -hmm. even when I lived in New York City, uh, which I did for many years, our apartments were always like the, ah, you know, it was the Uh, sanctuary. Well, of course yours was, yes. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not surprised. But yes, so true. You know, spending so much time in one's home, uh, if it doesn't make you feel relaxed and relieving stress, or at least, uh, you know, as much as possible during these times, you know, that that's adding to, that's just adding on to what we're already dealing with. So if your house, you know, most of the people that are listening, it's just a tweak or here or a fun thing to do, creating vignettes or, you know, changing something up, moving furniture around, like we talked in just the prior prior episode, things like that can be done. But if you need to do some real moving and shaking in your home to create the sanctuary that you've always wanted, well, here's the time. It's being presented to you on the quintessential silver tray. Mm -hmm. So dive right in and do it. Uh, Something that I've been doing is a little bit uh, outside of the house, but not far away, is I've been spending a lot of time in my garden. It's the best time of the year to be doing that here uh, because it's it's warming up a little bit. And, um, you know, and I know I say that and people who are in the Midwest are probably laughing at me. Yes. You know, it's warming up. The coldest we got was, you know, 46 or something. But it's, it's been in the 90s this week here. Wow. So See, the, the garage apartment has been most unpleasant. I don't know how he's working over there. It's so interesting because I am here and I had to put the heat on today. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, not yeah. Here. And you had to, and you, well, you couldn't put on your air conditioning. But anyway, I've gotten outside to my, into my garden. So if you're fortunate enough to have a, a space where you can garden, even if it's just a balcony with a container garden, uh, we did, you know, we have talked about container gardenings in the past. We can link to some of those other episodes. But hey, this is a wonderful time to get outside. It's really, I think, what we all need now. Even if it's not in your garden and doing garden work, just go take a walk. You know, look up away at the from sky. other people. Yes, yeah. so away from other people. I've been walking my dogs. I think all the dogs in my neighborhood are just like, let me rest because I see people walking their dogs two and three times a day. You know, it's just a thing to put on your list of things to do for the day to, you know, sort of break up the hours of being at home. I keep walking my dogs. We're Everyone's keeping wide berths around each other and whatnot. Good. But getting back to the garden, it's a great time to use those leaves that you have that have come down from the trees as mulch. So you're not going out to buy bark chips or, or some amendments to put on top of your soil. It's a wonderful time just to sort of, you know, gather them up. They might be not where you want them. So gather up the leaves and put them around the bottom of your plants that are starting to bloom and starting to get new green growth. That's a really, really, really great way to amend your soil. Those will break down even if you don't crunch them up yourself, even if you just leave the leaves whole 
put them around the base of your trees and shrubs and whatnot, out of sight and under there will do, be doing wonders for your soil. Hey, walk around and clip some bouquets from your garden, even if it's just greens. Um, some people don't have greens right now, though. Some, it's still some people don't there. have greens. How about, you know, forcing some branches, whatever mm-hmm. you've got going on, you know, try to collect some things from the garden. Uh, I know in the our Team DTT, we, somebody was posting something about how, you know, is everybody a forager? So many people are. I certainly am. If, if you're taking these walks, you know, pick up a magnolia leaf, pick up something, a branch that looks beautiful, put it in uh, a big vase when you get home. Bringing some nature in will really add a lot to your home right now, especially right now. Uh, I just ordered some David Austin roses. I spent a lot of time on the with the catalog. And if you didn't get that, you can go online and have a look. They have the roses categorized in so many different ways from uh, color to zone to also, you know, what you're looking for. If you're looking for fragrance or you're looking for disease free. And I picked out, uh, two climbers, uh, Claire Austin and Desdemona shrub rose. So I ordered, uh, five roses. So I'm excited for those to come. They're still shipping and they should come in early April. Also, it might be a great time to familiarize yourself with seed catalogs because that is a really wonderful world uh, where you can do some gardening, uh, planning, and also purchase seeds. And it's really not expensive at all. And wouldn't it be a great thing, especially if you've got kids at home, to get a couple packets of seeds, put them in the ground, and oftentimes in 10 to 17 days, you've got growth. So we might be inside for time. I was going to say, doesn't this seem like pioneer times because oh, before it, that made sound might sound like oh that's boring i don't have time <laughs> to bother with watching seeds right. grow now it sounds very exciting exactly after you watch the paint dry and your yes. project you can go outside and watch the seeds grow no but it's so true and i was joking with my daughters the other day i said you know i've always thought this about myself but i truly think i would have been good on the prairie and they were both like you would have been like, <laughs> i like doing all these things and you know it, i could feel the whole day, you know, with doing all this stuff. Yeah. And I've actually enjoyed, you know, we, uh, the farm is, is we're spread out, but right now, obviously we live in the city and, uh, the houses are very close together. So I was able to talk to my neighbor from my front porch and he was still on his property and it was so nice that we, uh, yeah, we felt very normal. And I've been really looking for just some things to do to make things feel normal and not crazy. So it was great. It just felt very, very, um, just like a normal thing to do to talk to him over the porch railing. And I've seen the neighbors kind of just talking from the porches. Would you have normally done that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he's retired and he's outside working on his car or sweeping the, I mean, he's always fixing something. So Oh, because I find that when I'm walking out, walking the dogs and whatnot, Uh um, everyone's waving to each other, you know, from far away or having a chat. Like I, I uh, normally or are you saying no, no? not normally, you know, normally if you're on the other side of my street, it's pretty wide, all the streets around me. And so, Uh you know, unless you catch your, the person's eye or unless the dogs start like barking at each other or something, you're not normally going to just like be waving at everybody. Like, you know, you're running for office or something. (laughs) Right. So, but now everybody, people are waving from cars. Yeah. I yeah. think it's really nice. That's funny because I'm saying, don't come any closer. Stop. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> Not that we're sick, but anyway, I just, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, that is nice. I think everybody, it's it's odd. It felt eerie walking in the neighborhood. Uh, and then if we saw people coming, we would just cross to the other side, to the, across, you know, we would just walk around them so that we were not yeah. anywhere near them. But it was kind of weird. There weren't, uh, there were almost no cars going by. It was so, it reminded me of nine eleven in a weird way, but oh. not, not quite, not quite as eerie as that. But yeah, yeah, I'm sure in some places it is. Uh, so another thing that we've done is our church group that normally meets once a week. We've met with Zoom. Oh, really? So we've been doing that. Yeah. So there's, I don't know. Trying to think how many we're on at a time, like eight couples or something. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, <laughs> so your church group is meeting on Zoom. And later on today, I'm having a cocktail gathering with my hiking group. <laughs> <laughs> you know Zoom. what? Uh, we'll, we'll be praying for you is all I can say. <laughs> and we'll be toasting to you. <laughs> okay. 
Fair enough. Oh, boy. Yeah. And then um, the church services that I go to, they're all online now. So that's wonderful. So we can kind of, and the nice thing is if you, you can listen to it whenever you want and you don't have to listen, uh, you know, you don't have to get up and get dressed. So that's been nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. But my friend sent me a text. We, I've been texting with a bunch of ladies. We're just sending all these things back and forth, trying to buoy each other's spirits. And she's like, um, okay, so it's 8 p.m. I just change out of my day pajamas into my night pajamas. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes. That's what goes on here. And then Evie, we were, and then, you know, we were, um, uh, needed some toilet paper and, oh, uh, no. and then I was on next door and someone shared a picture of a massive amount of toilet paper at a Kroger nearby. And I looked at Evie and I said, I think you're going to have to head you're out. You're up, girl. Yeah, you're up. Your time's up. So I felt like sending my kid out in like wrap with bubble wrap and like a snowsuit. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> Okay, so Vera. funny. I know. So uh, yeah, so she made it back with um with the toilet paper and a couple other things. So it was it was a successful. So brave. So yeah, and brave. it was like throw take your clothes off as you walk in, take your shoes off. And you know, you and I have been saying all along, take your shoes off when you come in the house. Uh, and what are they saying now? Take your take shoes your off. shoes off when you come in your house. Right. So you know what? There you My go. girls remembered. I I I think it might have been SARS. It was some bad cootie that was going around us when they were in elementary school, and uh, they remembered me. I mean, they were little, so basically, they would come home from school, get out of the car. I would make them take all their clothes off at the door, mm -hmm. drop it in a pile, and it would go all right into the washing machine. And they were like, "Are we going to have to do that?" <laughs> but. But they're not going to school and they're not going anywhere. So and, no. And wait do you hear about my mother. This is so my mom. So she's 83. So probably not the best age to be out with the pandemic going on. So do you think my mother is staying home? No. 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 This is so my mother. I was like, well, what she's did you do? She's a rebel without a cause. She is. I was like, what did you, you do yesterday? Because we kind of spent the day, you know, our game was. See if you can find the stuff on Amazon to put in your cart. See if you can find a delivery slot, you know, yeah. and then keep hitting schedule until you get the chance to schedule it. That right. was kind of my fun for the day. And she's like, well, we went to this store and then we went to that store and then we went to eat out. And I'm like, mom, no. what are you doing? Is it? She's in, oh. she's in rural Oklahoma. Granted, you know, not the. Not the worst place to be right now with this, but still, I'm like, are you serious? Yeah, but you don't, no one knows. Oh, okay. So I have what might be a little crazy idea. Oh, okay. Start shopping for Christmas. Well, you know what? I, I'm going to agree with you on that one because, and this, I'm sure this is what your point is. There's so many sales right now. Well, that is true. My, my number one point is you just have some time on your hands, ladies. Oh, well, and right. And what I'm thinking is. And this is really, I'm talking to myself here, is maybe make those photo books that perhaps you have also been thinking about making. I have been thinking about I wasn't making, thinking about it. <laughs> well, I'm not talking to you necessarily. I'm talking about all the people. <laughs> okay. All the people that are listening. Maybe some of those people have also been thinking, wouldn't it be nice if I made my blank a photo book of our trip to blank, you know, something for Christmas. And I always think about that, like maybe the end of October or beginning of November, but then, you know, all the holiday things get rushing in. You're like, do I have time to sit and go through all my photos and look for things and put together this book? No, I don't. But now maybe you do, you know, now that all these things have, you know, and I'm saying all these things are off your calendar, not necessarily people are still working from home. They're doing, um, you know, Zoom conferences or Google meetups or things like that, or you still have all your emails to do and you have all this and even if it's just the idea of trying to get food in the house it's not like we're all just like laying around waiting for something to happen but there is just a, a, an extra bit of time on everybody's plate it seems so maybe it's time to do that or maybe it's time to pull out that fabric that you were going to make uh you know i don't know a bunch of sachets or a pillow out of for so and so for christmas like not even necessarily purchasing from stores but maybe a christmas thing that you were thinking about that you were going to put together or you were going to create this is a great time to do it mm -hmm. oh i think that's a great idea so okay kelly 
this means that you have now <laughs> signed up to make that Hawaii vacation photo book for your mother-in-law. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what about uh, these friends that I'm trying to connect with people that I, that maybe don't live super close by and, but, and that I'm missing seeing. So I've started trying to FaceTime with them, which normally I don't do, but I'm thinking, well, when's the next time I'm going to get to see them in person? So we've kind of just started a FaceTiming. And the thing, the rule is you can't have makeup on. Oh, that's a great rule. Yeah. Well, you know, because you just have to assume. Is anyone cheat? Is anyone cheating? <laughs> well, I'm not cheating today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a makeup free podcast. I can't see you. <laughs> well, there's a reason that's for that. <laughs> I always visualize you in my head when we're talking. Oh, well, picture me with makeup on. No, wait a minute. I do have makeup on. If that's what you're... Exactly. No, I, I picture you. You're absolutely perfect in my mind. Um, reaching out. Excellent. How about writing a letter, a snail mail? Now, I was like, ooh, could I write snail mail letters? Of course. If you still have your mail person coming, so even if you're not used to doing something like that, you just put them out where that person would come. And, I, you know, I probably go overboard. I don't probably have to write her a note, but I say, oh, could you please take these? Thank you. And I've been like, you know, close pinning them to the the little basket that I have that she puts my mail in normally. And she just takes them away. Or obviously, if you're out for a walk and there's a mailbox close by to you, you can pop it in there. I wouldn't send something like a package right now because I don't want any of you going to the post office if you don't have to. But writing, a, imagine how fun it would be for someone, especially someone you haven't heard from in a long time, if they got a letter handwritten by you on pretty stationary or well not on toilet paper because you can't spare that but you know, on, <laughs> know even on a scrap of paper you know they would be happy <laughs> call an old friend uh, another way to reach out and this has been going on in my neighborhood and again back to the walking around i put this on my insta stories the other day so somebody might have seen it but um i've seen a few of the homes that I passed on a daily basis, everybody's been out gardening. And so people are putting out cuttings uh, from their garden that you can either, you know, some of them have been succulents, which basically you could just go stick in the ground or other ones that you could root. Uh, some lady had variegated ivy and she, they wrote in chalk on their sidewalk or on their walkway, you know, free, please take, you know, stay safe, have a good day. And so I came home the other day with all these succulents. And the day before I came home with some lemons because somebody was harvesting from their trees and they left a basket out. So it's just really, really a lovely thing to do. Now I said to my girls, I was like, Oh, I want to do something like that. And I was like, I have all these magazines that I've been reading and going through and even old ones that, you know, I dog eared and have to go look at again. And so I've been doing that. And I thought, Oh, maybe I could just put a basket of those outside, you know, kind of like those little libraries. Mm -hmm. Do you, does anyone oh, know what I'm talking about? Yeah. We've got them in our neighborhood, the libraries. They're really yeah. cute. Yeah, what a great idea. Well, yeah, but what do you think? Because Ava and Laura were like, ooh, mom, people are think that they might, you know, you know that can last on paper for a week. You know, people might be well, just worried. just clean it down. Yeah. That's what oh, I on thought. the plants or on the on the books? On the, the books, on the magazines, I guess. I don't know. That's what they were thinking. Well, I mean, yes. I mean, technically it does. It can uh, live on surfaces different amounts of time, depending on whether it's metal or paper or cardboard or whatever. However, uh, what, from what I've listened to on the little bit of news I've watched, they're saying it's really much more likely that you would get it if someone sneezed or coughed yeah. on you. Yeah. So that's Plus, small likelihood. Don't... We're pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have, we haven't been tested, but I mean, it all accounts say we, you seem we don't pretty have okay. anything wrong with us. Yeah. No, I, just, I mean, I've been working out like a mad thing, so I don't think there's anything wrong with any of us. But. No, no, no. And, but now they're saying that, or now I'm reading that, that it may have, it may be that a lot of people have gotten this and just had mild or no symptoms. And they're thinking some people, and it's again, who's this? I don't even know, but a lot of people got a bad illness in December mm -hmm. and, and Kevin and I had some weird thing in January. It was mild, which makes me think it wasn't, but now they're saying some cases are mild. I don't know, but it was a weird, a weird illness. I'll say right. that it was right. weird. So who knows? I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not risking it going out there because I don't know whether that was it or not. No. Uh, and really, I mean, you know, it, 
you should just stay home. It's even even if putting your own health uh, at risk is right. not your top worry. It's that that you can vector it off to somebody else. So I mean, exactly. I know everybody listening is you know going to be doing what every what the governors and the president and everybody's saying to do. So just to stay safe and get this thing over with. Yeah, but there are a lot of sales too. I just wanted to tell people do check because there's <laughs> a lot of these. Let's get com- back to those sales. Well, no, the reason I'm mentioning it is because so many of these companies are hurting. Yeah, and uh, you know, well, even like the uh, well, I mean, not just the sales, but like restaurants. If you can order from a restaurant near you for a, a pickup to go, I think that's worth doing to kind of help keep your favorite restaurant around. So yeah. uh, because they're losing so much money, you know, I wonder how many of these are going to be able to open. When this thing is over, I think a lot of them are going to be closing because they just couldn't make it. Yes, that's, I was hearing that a lot of small places, you know, just a general thought is that they can't last for more than three months with no income. They just don't have, you know, I mean, restaurants operate a very thin margin. So we're doing that for sure. And, you know, whatever you can do in your own community, you know, it's, it feels overwhelming because we can't cure this. We can't stop it. We just kind of have to go along and ride this one out altogether. But we can take action even from our own homes in our own communities. So, you know, think of the top three or five restaurants that you would be sad or more mm-hmm. if you can, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that you would be really sad to see leave your community and whatever you can do to support them now, whether mm-hmm. it's ordering a lunch or a dinner for, you know, through Postmates or DoorDash or even driving there to pick up a lot of places I went to pick up at our favorite place the other day. You, it was curbside pickup. So I just never got out of the car. Oh, right. I mean, that's what the, the grocery store we've done, the curbside pickup. Obviously, we've had a deli- Yeah. And then the uh, the restaurants we've been to, we've done the curbside pickup. And it just they just kind of asked what kind of, you know, what, what your car was, make and model and right. what color. And then they just bring it right to your door. Right. Another thing to do with regard to the restaurants is even if you didn't feel like you wanted to be ordering out and getting food brought into your house uh, from a delivery person or this curbside pickup right now, get a gift card that you can use later. Mm-hmm. There will be mm-hmm. later. We will be back to normal mm-hmm. and probably better uh, you know, as a society because I think we're going to talk about some of the upsides of this. Um He's trying to see that rainbow in that stormy cloud uh, as we do. But, you know, get a gift card. And, you know, what's the worst case scenario? The restaurant goes under. Well, maybe you're out 50 bucks or 100 bucks, but, you know, they're gone. What they need now is cash flow. So Mm -hmm. if you can infuse them with some cash and say, you know, I'll give you this money for a gift card, you know, mail it to me. Or if you know them well, maybe you just have some sort of credit situation going on just to give them some cash flow right now uh, to keep up. Right. But, and it's not just the restaurants, but think about your favorite charities, your favorite nonprofits. They are not getting the donations now, most of these places. So be thinking about how you might be able to help them too. And hopefully, you know, everyone's going to be getting, hopefully a lot of people will be getting some of these money from the stimulus checks. Some people will be getting those and that'll be helpful, I think, for a lot of people. Uh, yeah. So, but anyway, it's it's just a t- trying time for the entire world. Yes. And we were, um, you know, I had some things on my desk probably since around the holiday time. Oh, you know, I'm going to write a check to this and that and the other thing. So the Humane Society, you know, we've gotten all our dogs are rescues. And so, you know, we feel that we want to support them. So I just wrote a check to them. It was not a massive check by any means. It was, you know, the, the, the sort of the, the number that they asked for to help and, and then I started thinking about all the dogs and cats and things that are in there. Uh, well, actually, I've heard that the adoptions are way up because oh, everyone's good. home. Oh, oh, good. Because I thought Hopefully this is, that's true. Well, this is such a perfect time to adopt a dog, whether it's a puppy mm-hmm. or an older dog or a cat. Um, particularly if it's a puppy and needs to be trained, well... Mm, you know, the yeah, thing about a puppy time. is you got to be on it and, you know, you got to be home. And so this would be a perfect time. So, you know, I don't know if they have different humane societies or other rescue places have sort of altered the way they go about it. But, you know, if you they say animals can't get it, right? So even if you just walked in and you did a loop around to see who's in there and who's available, and you can probably do it online and maybe you can bring home a loved one. A furry loved one. And I, you know, I don't know, really, we'd be okay, I'm sure, but we would not be as happy as we are now in our house. 
Oh, if without our dogs your three were guys. not with us. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, because my girls, you know, they've everybody, you know, they are really handling the situation with grace, I must say. And, you know, in the scale of bad things happening, we are so, so, so fortunate. But they, oh. they oh, have absolutely. suffered a lot of disappointments. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. certainly people have had to cancel weddings and vacations yes. and they've lost money and all this. But, yeah. you know, you know, your your second semester of college just not happening. You know, you're yeah. living the college life and now you're mm -hmm. home and my other daughter's in high school, college tour is canceled, ring night's canceled, prom right. is canceled, right. uh, their choir competition is canceled, like all of these things were gonna happen in the spring. So, uh, you know, if you can add a little joy with a new furry friend, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, I'll tell you something that uh, we are doing here, partly out of necessity, but partly to add a little fun to our lives is I love cooking. So Evie and I have been cooking all the meals together. Usually we take turns, but we've been doing it together. And there was a TV show I used to watch. I think it might have been like Chopped. It was a long time ago, but each contestant would be given certain ingredients. Oh yeah. Like my girls love that show. They come in like a basket. This is what and you have yeah, to make and it. then you just and then you have to create a meal with these odd things. I'm doing that every night. Yes. Because I cannot I do you know, it's just so difficult to go get things and we're trying to honor the stay home. So we're right. not going to the grocery store. Right. And it's pretty much if we have it, we'll use it. If we don't, too bad. And you know it, Evie's like, well, we can't make that. We don't have all the ingredients. I'm like, watch, hold my beer. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> I know. I know. I love cooking like that anyway. I think that's really fun. It definitely makes it more creative. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOSE to your wellness regime. DOSE is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. 
reading, you know, that seems like like that's the default thing. It's, a, a, mm-hmm. you know, certainly something you can be doing, whether it's on your computer or ordering book or reading a book that you have. Um, I think I used uh, Dutch House as one of my crushes. Definitely love it. That book. Um, I'm reading American Dirt right now, which is a little stressful, but I really do love it. Um, mm-hmm. But it may not be the best choice for right now since everything is stressful. But it's right. a really wonderfully written book, and so you might want to put it on your uh, books to check out or one to read later in the summer. My daughter needs to read The Great Gatsby, so I am uh. going to read that again along with your. I don't know. This will be like my fifteenth time reading it, but you know, definitely worth a revisit. And then. Um, um, I don't know where I heard about this, but this library app called Libby. Now, I know Anita has for year, you know, years on the podcast told us about. Overdrive is the app for the for your local library. Oh, okay. So uh, the one I've just heard about is Libby. Overdrive okay. is another one? Okay. Well, I guess it depends on which one your library uses. Okay. Ours here in Harris County in Houston, it's Overdrive. Okay, so I just heard about this one, Libby, and it was uh, funny in te- in the team uh, Facebook group. One of our uh, members added that uh, Maria Elena. Thank you, Maria Elena. And I was I was a little chagrined, uh, taken aback when I tried to log in. I owe a dollar twenty five to my what? local library. What? I don't know. From when? I don't remember them ever telling me that. So I couldn't get into Libby oh, because I had to pay my fine. How shameful you. I know. Shameful me. So then I called the library and of course they were closed. So I have not experienced Libby myself, but it seems like it's pretty great. And But or, for or, those of you law abiding citizens, exactly. you can get in. Jump right on there and enjoy it. <laughs> Exactly. I'm glad they don't have any penalties. Like, oh, gosh, I don't know what year. I can't remember the last time I took. Yeah, I'm out surprised of that it didn't. Yeah, escalate on that. Uh, I know. Well, no, I. It, well, and it's. I might have to go on the lamb. Well, and and the, you know, we've been actually sitting around dinner talking. A lot of times, we watch a favorite TV show or movie because everyone's just tired. Yeah, and uh, everyone's been saying, "Let's sit in the dining room and talk." Wowza. So I'm like, really? Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, we, I know. We definitely, that's our like time to come together. It's funny. And we've, everybody sort of developed their own patterns. Like, you know, like the day, it's almost like, I mean, not that you're on, you know, holiday at all, but it's definitely feels like a different kind of schedule. It's definitely a different schedule. For and I sure. feel like, you know, my day is broken up in a very different way. Like, you know, every day around, you know, like Anita would know, like, I'm like, oh, around 2.30, like, I can't talk because right. I have to go pick up Laura. And right. then my day shifts into like a totally different chapter. Then, you right. know, not that she's needy or anything, but she comes home, she waves a snack, we but talk. You need we to, yeah, but, right. It's right. different. And so now the day is just completely different. We're sleeping in just a teeny little bit, which we don't normally do. Well, and do. both girls are there too, which is not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that has, you know, that's been a year of not, and not having everybody home. Um, let's talk about something that's very near to, dear to our hearts, podcasts. I discovered mm-hmm. a new podcast that I love. Oh, do tell, because I have basically my old favorites. I didn't find too many new ones. What did you love? Okay. Well, it's called Last Scene, and it is uh, in conjunction with the Boston Globe and W. UB or WB, WBU Boston, and it is all about the world's biggest art heist, which you may not know actually occurred in the Elizabeth Gardner Museum in Boston, which is a a beautiful museum if you've ever had a chance, but a small museum. But they took priceless works of art, a Vermeer, a Rembrandt, a Matisse, and other pieces, 13 pieces in all. But it is so interesting. I love it. It's got all the things that I love. There's um, some culture, there's some art, but then there's all the underworld and the gangsters that they talk to and they interview and they're trying to figure out who did this heist. And most of all, I love it because it's such a mystery. I mean, it's absolutely a tragedy that these works of art have not yet to be found. So it was um, the 30th anniversary of the heist was March 18th. And and what's the name of the podcast? Last Scene. 
Oh, and there are so last seen at the Gardner Museum is like you know the full title. But so the last time these were seen was there that night. And they interviewed the guards and they interview all these people. I mean the the web and the FBI is involved. There's the FBI interviews and oh I love it. Uh, there are sixteen episodes and so I think I'm like on eleven or something. Um, so you know if. If you think that might sound interesting to you, dig in. It grabbed me right away. And Is that the Boston in. Globe? Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm subscribing. Um, so oh, that I've sounds been, great. I've been listening to that on my dog walks. And everyone is about 45 minutes to an hour long. So, Oh, that sounds great. Well, I have. Uh, I don't think I have too many new podcasts that I'm excited to share, but I will mention some shows I've been enjoying that are on Netflix, Hulu, you know, Amazon. A self-made. Have you been watching that about Madam C.J. Walker? No. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's got one of my favorite actresses. You know, I don't know any of their names. But anyway, she, because uh, I don't keep track of everybody's name, but I love the show. It, and Madam C.J. Walker was an African-American woman in around 1905 or something. And she, um, she had a, uh, a hair business hair uh, conditioning and straightening no not straightening anyway care for hair care products i guess is what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. and she was really totally self-made and she gave back to the community and it's a really a fun show on netflix oh good okay good to know so yeah it just kind of shows her uh, but you know it's just kind of the you know the, you're rooting for her because she had so many things going against her mm -hmm. and she really uh, prevailed and, and really accomplished a lot so that that's a fun one Awesome. To watch. Uh, Father Brown, Call My Agent is a French TV show. And uh, that is all in French, but has subtitles. I love that one. And again, I don't know any of these actors in any of these. Okay. That one's great. And then IT Crowd is fun. That's that's an old favorite mm -hmm. um, British show. And uh, Versailles is kind of intense, mm -hmm. uh, but that's interesting too. About the IT Crowd's about a an IT department in the UK and then Versailles is about, you know, King Louis and the goings on in Versailles. That one's a little bit intense, so you might not like that one. And then have you been watching the Hulu's Indebted, which is a new Fran Drescher show? No. Oh, I love Fran. Oh my God, Fran. Yeah. So she's <laughs> back in that show. And then the guy from Wings, I told you, I, I can't remember names, but anyway, the guy from Wings is, is on there. And what then, that one, what's that one called? Um, indebted, indebted, and then it's um the other guy from <laughs> the Mindy Project. The oh, anyway, see what I'm saying? I've got to go figure out everybody's name. But anyway, it's good. we don't need names of people, just names of the show. Yes, yeah, Zoe's extraordinary playlist. That one's good. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! And then a doll face is another new one that's interesting. In doll face, there's a cat that's kind of a person who talks. And yeah, that was... I watched all of Dolphins. Did you watch them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. It's it's a little um, PG plus R minus, but I liked it. <laughs> yeah, it was very unique. It was very different. I mean, and that's I mean, it's just fun watching some shows that are, are very different. That one's very different because it's obviously has some stuff that in there that it's not real. She kind of I guess it's kind of her imagination. Yes. In different... Yes. Yes. The cat mm -hmm. is funny. Um. Yeah. Okay, and I, that woman who plays her is also from the Mindy Project. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, one that we've been watching on uh, Hulu the cat, I should say, Little Fires Everywhere, which is from the book Celeste Ying's book, uh, Little Fires Everywhere. And yeah, is that good? I, I've been seeing that. Yeah, well, I loved the book. Laura had to read the book for school, and I read it. Uh, she said it was so great, so we read it. You know, sort of at the same time, and loved it. Her uh, the book prior to that is supposed to even be better so we just ordered that um but little fires everywhere wonderful book um we having read the book we're both like mm, you know that's not the right way or gosh they went a little too far with that you didn't really need that um but i i we're definitely gonna watch it we're definitely enjoying it i think that you would enjoy it whether you read the book or not it's produced by reese witherspoon's hello sunshine production company mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. on hulu well i've seen it i just haven't i mean i've seen it advertised i have not watched it but you know the other thing i've been introduced to other person i've been introduced to lately is mary berry who's kind of the uk 
uh, answer to Martha Stewart. Yeah. And so she has a lot of shows on Amazon. Uh, so those are fun. And those may be part of our Brit box, but she's delightful. And Escape to the Country is fun, too, because those are a lot of people in, like, London that are moving mm-hmm. out to the countryside. That's just kind of fun. Okay, kind you need a... to stop now because I'm doing the show notes and I can't possibly keep up with all this. You're <laughs> just, you need to send me all of these. Another thing I am doing so much of is drinking tea me all too. day long. Well, you know, I do go from hot to iced, but I have mm-hmm. not had to segue to ice because it's been really cold here for us. Wow. So hot tea all day long. And I know I told everyone, I think I did it on a crush. And I know I mentioned it on a Facebook live with the team about this art of tea, Earl Grey cream tea that I discovered. <gasps> But, and then I did a little deep dive on them so I could find out how do I get this in my own house. And I found out that Art of Tea is located really close to me. And I continued drinking gallons of it after I ordered a uh, 50 sachet box. And now I'm on my second 50 sachet box. So when all of this hit and I was at home, I decided, let me reach out to Art of Tea. They sent me this nice email as a, you know, a VIP purchaser. <laughs> I, guess, I guess if you purchase 100 bags in like, you know, less than a few, like two weeks or something <laughs> like, hey, this is a live one. We got to go for, go for her. So they sent me this nice email and I thought, well, I'm just going to respond and tell them how much I love it, that I've already talked about it on my podcast and various other places and see if they would want to collaborate. And, you know, at this time, I guess, as we're saying, small businesses are taking a hit. It. Um, so people are not necessarily thinking about exploring the worlds of artisanal teas right now, perhaps. You know, I was, but hey, not everybody is. So uh, we're collaborating with Art of Tea today to bring you a wonderful giveaway. So let me tell you a little bit about Art of Tea, other than the fact that I love uh, their blends. Uh, they do hand blend and custom craft with the finest organic teas from around the world. This fellow named Steve Schwartz started it. He is a master tea blender, and he was doing some sort of um, studies and throughout his uh, university days and really got into teas and how teas can be so therapeutic, not only just delicious, and he developed this company. You'll, if you, once you see the packaging, you'll probably see that you've may have encountered Art of Tea at high end restaurants and cafes and things like that's where I was first introduced to it. But they have a website and they sell retail to customers online as well. Um, so Art of Tea is collaborating with. DTT, and we're doing a giveaway of their T for Two uh, package, which is a ninety-five dollar value. You're going to get two um, hand-thrown mugs, and also a really nice variety of their blends. And these were BT bags, uh, all custom put together for you in a lovely uh, wooden box. And it's a really easy to enter. There's going to be a post on the Art of Tea Instagram account talking about the giveaway and the collaboration. And you need to just follow Art of Tea on Instagram, My Soulful Home, and Cedar Hill Farmhouse, which you probably are already, and leave a comment. You can leave a comment as simple as enter me or say something lovely about the podcast or the teas, whatever you'd like to, but definitely say enter me at the Art of Tea Instagram. There's going to be a post and it'll be clearly stated that's the giveaway with decorating tips and tricks. And it'll be a picture of this package. And that will be up on the day this episode comes out, which is April 1st. Uh, the winner will be chosen a week later on April 8th. And you'll be notified uh, by DM, that's direct message on Instagram. So good luck and cheers. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Isn't cool. that fun? And just it was so many good things coming together there. You know, small company and a really great product that we want to introduce you to. And one of you will be a lucky winner of this wonderful package that will come to your door and you don't have well, to Well, I wish I could. I wish I could win. I love tea. Well, and you're going to want to, you're definitely going to want to <laughs> enter. Say, but say but you can't win. I know I can't win. You can, can win, enter, so but you can't win. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not going to enter. But uh, yeah, I mean, but what a great thing to win is tea. I mean, I just bought a ton of tea because I've just been reading about how good that is to have the uh, the tea and drinking something hot all day. And especially during meals to drink tea. So uh, that's a new thing that I've been reading is that hot tea is better 
than drinking something cold during a meal. It helps your digestion. So there you go. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. We got a hot topic today? We do. And this one is, I will include the link uh, in the show notes, but it is how pet or send it to you. Okay. Uh, how pandemics shape design, target workers get a surprise raise and more. So it's basically about how these home, home decor companies are dealing with the pandemic. And it's, it was a very interesting read. And it is, uh, they're very trying times, and it is very interesting to see what companies are doing. And uh, I guess the first thing that they mention in here is that Restoration Hardware is still up and running for business. And they felt like that they were exempt from the statewide shelter in place. So they are, uh, the showrooms are probably closed, but I think this is more the the construction and the shipping and everything. So uh, yeah, so it looks like if you're ordering Restoration Hardware items, you will be able to get them. Well, here's what I took, because I did read that article that you sent me, and I found it very interesting. Um, you're like, restoration hardware is essential? Well, I had the same reaction with a client's project that we're working on, and I, I thought their Cal- they decided to go with California closets for their closet, master closet. And so we designed all that, and it's, you know, it seemed like we did it so long ago, and the day that it was supposed to be installed is you know, March 30th. And I thought, oh my goodness, like, of oh, course these people timing. aren't coming, right? Of course, yeah. I'm sorry, it's not, it's not gonna happen. And they were like, oh no, we're essential. And I thought to myself, really? Is that self-aggrandizing California closets? Like, I know we all are really excited about having an organized closet, myself in particular, but uh, essential. Uh, but now I... And, I didn't want to say that to them. So, of course, I was like, okay, well, if you want to come, but I won't be there, you know, to check everything for a while. Um, But I see now from what they're saying in this article, it's this actually the stream of commerce. So that makes sense. Like if all of the restoration hardware stuff got stuck in some shipping container or port or someplace – then the they said the critical things like toilet paper, I don't know, masks, whatever, food can't get through, right? I mean, you just have to. It's like almost like they just have to keep moving this stuff through. And so I'm guessing oh, okay. it would clog that's things, pro- right? That's what they were saying. Like stream, the orders need to move for the stream of contract uh, commerce because they would be blocking critical items. So you know, if you're do- okay. also doing that like an be. eye roll, like why mm-hmm. is this still uh, you know happening? Like this is not essential. I guess that is what the deal is. And probably the same thing with these, uh, you know, big installs for California closets. I mean, this stuff's got to come from somewhere. It's not like they're whittling these closet drawers in their, you know, Mm -hmm. local showrooms. So. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, Yeah. And I mean, there's certainly, I can, I can see that the point that they're making. Another thing mentioned in this article is a, and this is just talking about how some companies are pivoting. Time Out is a New York based uh, travel and tourism entertainment media guide. I loved and, Time Out when I lived in New York, okay. and I loved Time Out when I lived in London. It's a great magazine. Oh, okay. So it's, oh, that's interesting. It's more than one place. Well, I guess you heard what it is now. Time, Time in. Time in. <laughs> <laughs> so. Clever. I love clever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's clever, and what a, what a wonderful way to pivot. And I love seeing the creativity that people have to pivot their businesses. And now, more than ever, uh, for a lot of businesses, it, there are other options, whereas maybe 10 years ago, there really wasn't. I mean, how happy am I now that Amazon has been around? I really haven't bought Amazon food products in the past, but now I'm ordering every day something from Amazon because they will deliver. So, you know, now there are so many options, like we said, for the Zoom, for meeting online, FaceTime to talk to your friend you can't go see, or maybe a daughter or son is too far away for you to, to see in person. And then uh, again, all these buying options. So some businesses can go on, even though we are trying to stay away from each other physically. Yeah, it is a lot easier to live on the air quotes prairie when you have Amazon. <laughs> yes, uh, no kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, and a, a nice another nice thing that came out of that article that you chose was that uh, we learned that Target has increased their uh, minimum wage or increased mm-hmm. their wage. Good, and, good, uh, good you know, for them. Yes, yeah, so you know that makes you feel good about shopping at Target. So good for them and good for their a lot employees. of. Yeah, I've seen some signs around that some places were hiring delivery drivers. Some place, was it Pizza Hut? It said $500 bon- signing bonus. 
Oh, wow, that's great. Isn't that interesting? So I'm hoping that some of these people that may have lost their jobs in the restaurant industry as servers can get jobs in delivery. Yeah. So they've got something, some other options. Uh, so yeah, so this is kind of an interesting thing. And I think it's just kind of a time for us to all, you know, be kind and uh, see how we can help other people. But you know, from a distance. Right. Yeah. I mean, some good things that I see maybe coming out of this is definitely the kindness, like the sense that we're all in this together and we're all humans. And, you know, in, in a obviously a bad way, we're all susceptible to this thing, but it just, it kind of, it levels the playing field a little bit. It may, it really makes you look at humanity as one group of people on this earth, right? And I don't want to get too like, oh, you know, about it. But I've been thinking a lot about that. Like, you know, there's so many different people, ways people find differences between each other. Like, we're all in this together, literally mm -hmm. all of us, mm -hmm. everywhere in the world. Except maybe your mother, who's still going out to restaurants. I, I, yeah, except my mom, who's on her own planet. But and the, and the funny thing is, she's Mr. Magoo. She'll be fine. She will be. She fine. won't. She will not get this. I'm no. just telling you, she won't. No, and she knows that probably. That's why she's. I think she. Yeah, she somehow she's got a direct line to to you know the guy upstairs, so she doesn't she, uh, seem to have I any got problems. This. No, I mean I got this. I don't got this kind of thing. Yeah, and and I'm going to say this too, as far as reading materials. If you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling worried, I really just go dust off that Bible and read Psalm 91. You're going to feel so much better. Okay, I'll write that down so I put it in the show notes. 91, got it. Psalm 91. Psalm 91. <laughs> um, also, you know, no joke aside, like conserving, like you know, you. My girls will realize soon enough if they haven't already, you don't need to use 12,000 squares of toilet paper in uh -huh. one visit, right? You know, like that <laughs> sort of thing. I've I've curtailed. So it's not the ru roulette wheel anymore? No. Like, exactly. <laughs> roulette wheel. You're so funny. Um, I've curtailed. You know, I used to, you, you could, when you went to the store and you had choices of paper products, you could choose the paper towel that you know, had the half of a sheet. So you could choose anything. Now it's like, oh, anything. it's tablets of, of this brand I hate. Okay, I'll take it because take I need to Can I dishwasher take soap. I'll yeah. Take Right. But you know, you, so the, so the bounty towels or whatever towels you might be using, um, I think I'm cutting them in half. Oh, you're so smart. And let me tell you, I was so excited. I saw on Amazon, I could order paper towels. So excited. And I've got to tell you in 45 days, they'll be here. <laughs> Well, I hope prime. To, that's prime delivery, baby. I hope to goodness that you can't sell them for a lot of money at that point, 45 days from now. I hope nobody cares <laughs> about whether you have a lot of them or not. But uh, you know, another th good thing that I'm hoping that will come out of I didn't say there this, were a lot. It's just one carton. <laughs> exactly. Another good thing that I'm hoping for, at least for myself and whoever else wants it to happen, I hope I'm bikini ready because I'm working out like crazy. So, you know, that's a great thing if you can work out mm -hmm. while you're at home, uh, you know, maybe get yourself in a routine because you know you feel like you've got the time or maybe you need the stress relief i've started running again which i wasn't really running a lot oh, and that okay. it feels really good i kind of mm -hmm. stopped that because i was doing other stuff and going to the gym or the y or whatnot and so now i'm doing that that's such an easy obviously very cheap way to exercise um so, you know, I think a lot of good things can come out of bad all the time. I, you know, don't want to Pollyanna this situation mm -hmm. at all. It is, it is terrible. And, um, a lot of people are suffering and my gratitude and heart goes out to all these uh, medical workers, whether you are a janitor in a hospital yes. or you're a nurse, yes. you're a surgeon, no matter who you are, if you are on the front lines and I, I you know, you are so appreciated. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. I mean, really people are putting their lives uh, you know, they're risking their lives for uh, so many people and all these healthcare workers. And you're right. I, anybody who's working in a hospital, no matter whether they're a doctor, a nurse or somebody else, they're all putting their lives at risk for our benefit. And we really need to appreciate um, these people that are risking it all for us. And it's no small sacrifice. And I know um, uh, Kevin works with someone whose mother is a nurse in Italy. And she said, oh. we know we're all going to get it. And she's terrified. 
Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. She's terrified. But the, I mean, the good thing, I guess, is that, you know, if there is a good thing, I mean, most people who get it are going to be fine, right? It's mm-hmm. just, you know, we just have to not vector it off to these people who are really at risk. Right. I mean, for people at risk, I mean, they really have got to stay in. And I'm not talking to my Anita's mother mom. because I know she's not listening. Okay. Uh, yeah, Anita's mom, but I know she's not going to listen. So let so. me jump in with my crush because I was talking about this working out. Yes, thing. yes. Another your crush. great thing that I've discovered. I mean, you know, when I moved to California, how many years ago? I was like, I have to do yoga, and so I signed up at this yoga because everybody I figured everybody does yoga. Like I was so stereotypical. Like if you're going to make me move here, I'm going to do yoga. And I went and did yoga, and I was like, this takes way too long. I don't have 90 minutes. I have little kids. You know, I got to go do something else. So my, you know, I I probably played out my uh, membership for whatever it was, and I stopped doing yoga. And then periodically throughout my life, I have gone back to yoga, and I've wanted to like it, and I've wanted to stick with it. But it just took too long, and it wasn't, you know, the classes at my Y where I go regularly were, you know, not at great times or things like that. Well, I have now been introduced to this wonderful lady, on YouTube named Cassandra. And you can do a yoga stretch with Cassandra in 10 minutes that will make you feel like a million bucks. So you're trading 10 minutes for feeling like a million bucks. And then I've started doing her 30 minute uh, yoga stretch flows and everything. Absolutely fantastic. She's got everything from beginner to, uh, you know, obviously expert and and all things in between. Um, She's no, you know, she's got a, a lovely personality, but she's not all about all the uh, chanting and all of that. She gets right into it and you're, you're doing it and you're stretching your hamstrings and you're down dogging and you're up dogging and you're doing all this good stuff. So I will link to Cassandra's uh, channel in the show notes. Highly oh, recommend it. Great idea. So my crush is, uh, you know, we're gluten free and uh, it's very hard to get gluten free bread right now. So we, you know, we're kind of down to, you know, our last, not our last square, but our last slice. Yeah. <laughs> and 
uh, but I had some gluten-free flour. And so we've been making Navajo bread. And the beauty of Navajo bread, it's a flat bread, so there's no yeast required. And guess what? No butter, no milk, no... It's completely made from stuff you probably have in your cabinet right now. Now, you can use regular flour. I just happen to use gluten-free, but it's basically... I'll include the a link for the recipe, but it's basically flour, water, oil, salt, and baking powder. That's it. Wow. And you just kind of roll it out and, and um, put it on your griddle. So I did some pesto chicken on top of that. And, Yum. Oh, it was so good. So good. But you can put whatever uh, item you have, just put a little sort of, some sort of sauce on it, pop it on and you'll love it. Something. Okay. That sounds yeah. great. Okay. So you'll give me those links too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our question today is from Felicia and Felicia... I think that you also left a beautiful review for us on iTunes because I recognized you, 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 most people's handles on iTunes, you can't recognize, but I recognized the name. The time frame was just about right when she emailed and the initial, the last name initial. So Felicia, if that was you, thank you very much. And if it was a different Felicia, thank you very much. But I think it's the one in the same. So Felicia... Uh, Felicia just had hip surgery. She's in her late twenties. So she just purchased her first home and she had to have hip surgery. So I hope that you're doing really well. My husband had hip surgery and it was the best thing he ever did. So I hope that you'll be able to say that about yours as well. Um, and Felicia's asking us about first home must have and things to invest in. She wants to create a timeless look in her first home. Well, first of all, kudos to you, Felicia. I think that Mm -hmm. that is the way to go. Don't mess around with a lot of this toss away furniture because that is not a good way to shop. uh, And that is just going to increase your carbon footprint. Nobody likes that. So I did respond to Felicia in an email to her and I told her we Mm -hmm. would be talking about it during this episode so we could get Anita's thoughts um, as well. I'll tell you what I told um, Felicia in the email. And then I have something else I thought of. Um, Kitchen, you know, it is going to be your most loved, probably, and most used, definitely, room and home. So if you have a situation where you're going to do any work in the kitchen or redo it, really make good choices uh, as far as appliances, kitchen cabinetry, and you're never going to lose money if you do the kitchen well and do Mm -hmm. it uh, in a classic way, like, you, you know, doing your classic white kitchen with great countertops and stainless steel appliances, like, you know. That's your, it's just going to be a winning combination for you when you live there and when and if you are going to sell that house. I also talked a little bit about something that's not too sexy or fun, but AC and infrastructure. I don't know if any of that needs to be done in Felicia's home, but you know, timeless is great, but comfortable is really the, you know, it, first and foremost. So you want to have all that done, right? So you want to make sure that, you know, you at least have that all inspected, Felicia. So you, don't have any surprises. You don't want to spend up your money on the kitchen and then realize that, you know, the heating system doesn't work. Um, and a little bit on curb appeal goes a long way. Uh, even if it's just some uh, container pots or some, even sometimes with uh, curb appeal, when you're first buying a house, it's taking stuff out, like something really overgrown or something like that. So have a look at that. You can probably really um, up the overall appearance of your home by just doing a little bit outside. And the one other thing that I thought about, um, and that'd be really my top thing, especially if the budget is really tight, a wonderful dining room table. It doesn't have to be super expensive, but it's got to be good. So you could thrift it or get it from a consignment store. And I wouldn't even so much worry about the chairs because you could change those over time and that we love that look as well. Uh, But you're going to create a lot of memories around a dining room table. So I would take some time to pick out a really wonderful one. And again, you know, you don't have to spend a ton of money. Lots of times you can get amazing dining room tables at a nice thrift store or consignment store. Wow. Yeah. I think those are all great ideas. I mean, it really kind of depends on how much money she has and where she's wanting to focus. But I'm also thinking about how much you and I love those little details that you can add to your house with moldings. So if she has some money to, if Felicia, if you have some money to invest in some moldings for your house, the the large baseboard and maybe some crown molding, that will really add, dress up the rooms in the house beautifully 
those are some things you can do if you're wanting to add a kind of a go for biggest bang for your buck you can go with a colorful rugs that are patterned in your rooms go with large rugs uh even though those aren't cheap uh you can go with indoor outdoor rugs those are usually less expensive and then that will add so much beauty to a room because it's it's so big in the room uh, so that makes a difference i mean you can go with the is it the erk torp what's that Mm. sofa yeah i think you said it right yeah i mean what do i know but that's a very popular sofa that a lot of designers use if someone's on a real budget and i think they look pretty nice so i mean that's an option too there's um and then there's those beautiful chairs we like from ikea that are also money savers the the wicker ones right so i think those would be wonderful too I mean, we could go on and on. I mean, this is something that we, it's hard to narrow it down to just one or two things. Right. So I really think, uh, Felicia, the thing to do for you is to kind of prioritize and kind of really decide where you want to spend that money. There's so many wonderful things you could spend it on and and just kind of decide. And I don't know what you have now in, in the way of furniture or if that's you know something you're still trying to fill out. But I think, uh, you know, everything that Kelly said were, were beautiful ideas. And here's something exciting. We have a winner for our Diane James Home $150 gift certificate. It is Michelle M. Uh, Michelle will be contacting you by email and um, letting you know that good news for the rest of you. There is still some good news. You can still receive the 15% off at dianejameshome.com by using the promotion code DTT. Thanks to everyone who entered. And I'm sure we'll be doing further promotions and giveaways ways with Diane James home as the years roll on. So stick with us on that. And um, definitely, it would be a wonderful company to uh, have a look at right now and help get through these crazy times. So if you're thinking about purchasing a Diane James home design for yourself, now would be the time to do it and use that code DTT for 15% off. Congratulations, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope this helped you uh, through what is definitely a very trying and very unique time in the world. Uh, We're thinking about you. We're praying for you. We're cheering you on. And remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time.